Okay, now will come such a beautiful lecture. Pay close attention. Do not touch anything, just watch this lecture until the end. Mm, I want to show you the difference between... Delete. I want to show you the difference between a text box and a shape box. I have my shortcut set to Alt 1 to create a text box and Alt 2 to create a shape. Okay, I have a shape. I can, when having a shape like this, I can start typing and text appears. So why the heck am I doing separate sh shape boxes, separate shapes, and why the heck am I doing text boxes separately? Because the limitations of one and another. Look at that. If I have this shape and I would like the text to be on the left side of this shape, I cannot click on this shape, I cannot move the text and place it here. I can only resize the shape and for example I can go to home and I can justify it to the left or like this or to the right and this is all the options I have. Then when I work with text, yes I have more freedom with text because I can move the text where I want but if I use this text as a shape box like going to drawing tools adding the fill and outline as I shown you before, I cannot make it bigger. Even if I change the text to make it visible, I cannot make this shape bigger and I wanted this shape to be bigger. So usually when you work in PowerPoint and what I like always do is to combine both shapes and text. Normally I use shapes to be shapes without text. I use text to be, to be only plain text shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline, text fill, go back to black and I put the text on to this. Now it's not visible, this is because the hi hierarchy, I added the text first and the shape second, so I need to right click on the shape and just send it to back to put it behind the text. And as you can see right now I have a perfect shape, I can resize the shape as I want and I can click on the text and I can, yeah that's the problem, I can reposition the text where I want. The difficulty here is that sometimes, sometimes it's difficult to click on the text box. For example, I'd like to click, click on the text box perfectly, I know that it's here, I managed to do this. But sometimes if you have many of those boxes and many text boxes it's difficult. What you can do here is you can click, drag, select both and press Ctrl G or just right click, select both again. You see even I have difficulties right now. You need to perfectly click here, group and now you can group them together. Now you may wonder how do you select the text within the group now? You click once to select the group and you click a second time to select an object within this group. So by clicking a second time, I can try to click on the text perfectly. It worked, it worked. Then I press Ctrl A and I make the text white because I can barely see the text. I can do this on drawing tools, white text. I'll make it a bit bigger. As you remember, you can make it bigger by going to home and just clicking this increase font size. This is a really also handy function. Then I will try to select the text perfectly. It worked. Now I deselect everything and I have a very beautiful group with a shape and a text. So I always prefer to have separate text boxes and separate shape boxes. So they are two objects. I combine them together and I have total full control over what's happening with the size of the shape and with the position of the text. This is very important to train, so I would like you right now to add a shape box, a text box, place them over each other, Ctrl G or just right click and group them together. This is all you have to do for this lecture. I would like you to get familiar with those options and once you master this, it like, it's very important. And this is also where the, where the selection pane comes into play home, select, selection pane, 
because if you have difficulties selecting something. I wanted to record a separate lecture about selection pane, but it's so convenient. I would like to show this to you right now. The selection pane helps us to select elements even within group. Sometimes you have 10 elements within one group and it's really convenient to have the selection pane nearby. On a side note, you can also select uh, the selection pane and put it like, for example, on the bottom of your screen to make it smaller. But when you have more elements, it's like, it's better to have it on the right side as I had it here. Okay, this is it for this lecture. Add a shape box, add a text box, and we will pr proceed further down from there once you have mastered this.